Hello. The very, very talented creative director, choreographer, and amazing friend. Thank you for this amazing welcome. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the show. Let's talk about the show. Well, first of all, I am so grateful for the show because I met you. I know. This How is, amazing is that? That was the best thing ever, right? Making all these amazing international friends from everywhere. Like literally, L like becoming a, literally 50 a judges family. from around the world. And we also tied. That's why oh I my love God, we love most. each other. Yeah, we, we definitely do. We, we definitely love each other. Well, I love you. Friends for life. <laughs> High five to that. <laughs> for sure. For sure, for sure. But, um, Arthur, let's talk about your creative work. Or do you want to talk about your choreography first? Well, we can actually like pretty much talk about what I pretty much do. I mean, I was a dancer, as you know. I was a dancer, so after dancing, so many people actually give up on showbiz life because they became moms or they became dads or blah, blah, blah. But the thing is with me, it was so amazing. When I stopped dancing, I naturally went into choreography and creative direction. I was very privileged to get that. Mm -hmm. So uh, all my life, I love dancing. So for me now to be behind the camera, to create dancing, to create, uh, uh, to put the staging all together is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. I just love, love, love. No. You thanks, just... Thanks, mm -hmm. actually. You're even my hairdresser. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> you see? I you said see? we're That's family. That's what friends are for. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. But no, seriously, like, yeah. Um, so you still dance right you you still you, Do you still... know what i don't really dance much anymore because once i believe i went behind the camera i thought it's good to actually sit back mm -hmm. and let everybody else to shine because when you try to dance and choreograph it's not serious to me mm -hmm. i mean you can still people still do dancing but i just want to be more serious to give the chance to other dancers who can shine why would i do that do you know what i mean mm -hmm. but never say never you know i might have something coming and i want to be on stage i want to dance but funny enough i'm more hungry at putting shows together as a choreographer creative director than dancing mm -hmm. but i still love dancing though. right so when did you transition to creative director i i transitioned do you know what it was when i turned 13 i always said i was a, an accidental dancer i always want to be a dancer but you know from my armenian background I didn't get the chance to train, you know, people training three years, like uh, I ended up dancing in London, but people train three years, four years to be a dancer, actor, singer, but I never get those chance, mm -hmm. those chances. So I, by accident, I started dancing in Belgium. Mm -hmm. So for me, I was 20 years old, and when I started dancing, I always knew in the back of my head, when I'm 30, I have to stop. I don't know why, but I was like, after 30, I don't want to be the dancer still. I don't want to go to auditions with 16 years old kid. You know, I didn't mm -hmm. want that. So when I turned 30, it was the point where I was like, this is it, I'm stopping, mm -hmm. done. And I remember it was so funny. I what, you're 30? <laughs> <laughs> Age, it's only a number, I know that. <laughs> no, because I said to myself, I said, my 20s I was a dancer, and you're gonna laugh what I'm gonna say. I'm a hairdresser. I actually did hairdressing mm -hmm. because like all the Armenian parents, they will say, do a diploma and they do whatever you want. So my diploma was doing hairdressing because all my uncles, they were barbers in Armenia. Mm -hmm. They were doing hair. So I did that. And then 20 years old, I became a dancer. Then when I finished, I was like, I'm going to go back to being a hairdresser for mm -hmm. celebrities. And I bought all the kids. I did everything. And I was starting to do celebrities hair. But then... I went back to choreography creative because I have this chance with Monsieur Christian Le Bouton. I did his video mm -hmm. and I got a phone call. I had this meeting and they said, oh my God, we love you. Why don't we just go with you and then just create the video? And that was the point when I went, do you know what? Hairdressing can wait. I'm going back to dancing and creating. And that's literally the start of my career as a creative writer choreographer. So what's the difference between creative uh, director and choreographer crazy director uh, based okay choreography you can just choreograph anything mm -hmm. you can even uh, choreograph how the table will move with mm -hmm. dancers or actors movement direction choreography can do so many different things it, because people when you say you're a choreographer they think oh it's like boom 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 ta 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 no it's not that choreography is like guiding people room to room open a door that's a choreography but also we have a choreography in dance 
when you watch shows like The World of Dance, so you're taking a dance, there's a choreography there. Mm -hmm. Creative direction, it's more putting the whole show together. You can, when I do creative direction, I did Elvis Presley's 80th anniversary show mm -hmm. in Rotterdam, in a, 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 a horror arena, and it was absolutely amazing. I think it was in 2000, when was it, 18 years? I kind of forgot, but it was in 2016, I think, mm -hmm. or 2015. So I was the creative director there, but I was co-choreographing, overseeing the choreography with some other choreographers. So as a creative director, I was overlooking the lights, I was overlooking the staging, I was overlooking the dancers, I was overlooking from head to toe the costumes. So that's what creative director mean. Oh my God, maybe next steps films. I think, I think, do you know what? It's so funny. My dream is to be in films. Not as an actor, I never really pay attention. Well, I mean, hello, yeah. I'm a film producer director. G Gia, yeah. I swear you're gonna laugh. When I came here, the amount of people told me, "Are you an actor? Are you acting? Have you done?" Well, it's because I was like, of your like personality. It's just so funny because yeah. I never thought about that. And then everybody said, "But you're in Los Angeles. Anything can happen. Anything." But I've done commercials. You know, I've been the face of plenty of commercials, mm -hmm. and. I think my paranoia was because I'm a foreigner and I have an accent. So why would I try acting? You're no foreigner. No I'm no more. foreigner. <laughs> no more. <laughs> Neither am I. I we love all, it. Oh, this I, is so LA. Everyone is from somewhere. That's such. I think. I think the thing is for me because I love. I love performing. I always love perform. And you know, I modeled in my days. I. I don't want to say act, but I was acting in commercials, but without talking. So I've been the face of. Cinzano and mm. I, film the, I was the face of Weller for the hair. I've done lots of other stuff, but I never thought, oh, let me just try to act, but never say never. There's no age for acting. So you never know, like you said, maybe next there will be film. Who, who knows? Who, who knows? Who knows? What's knows? Well, you're already on CBS show, right? The world's best. Yes. And that is actually an acting gig. It is actually an acting gig because yeah. you actually have to present the persona, but at the same time you have to judge and you have to yeah, well, there's, it's, there's it's, it's a camera on you, uh, you at have to every be, given point you're and, right. and the mic. You're, you're absolutely right. Yeah. That was uh, that was uh, that was very interesting. That I mean, how amazing! I mean, yeah. like, I, I mean, I never would have ever thought from a dancer, crazy director, Kirk Fan, and be on a big show where we are the world's best people gonna perform in front of our eyes, and we meet like all fifty of us. We're like a family. I mean, and the call. caliber of and these the people is incredible, really. It's like, such a, they're such amazing. Such accomplished professionals, amazing people. I mean, yeah. I'm, I don't know if I can mention, but one of your country, amazing, talented human being on that stage. He literally blew our mind away, you know? I think we can, we can mention him. I think we point. can mention yeah. him. Why don't you mention? <laughs> Gia, why don't you mention who it is? Dimash Kudaibergenov. Yes, he is a beloved uh, singer from Kazakhstan. He's huge in Asia. He has got an amazing, huge name in Europe. And now I mean, he's incredible. Yeah. Gia, I remember when he started the first song he did, and it was in French. I remember his auditions. We all stood up. Uh, we all stood up. It was just incredible the way he sang. I mean, I thought I've seen everything. I thought I've been on tours around the world. I've done lots of stuff. But it was just incredible. It was crazy. I feel like you're an alien. You're not a human. It's not possible. He did blow everyone's minds, I think. He did. He that really first did. audition yeah. was incredible. Yeah, he's uh, he's an amazing, amazing singer for sure. And I really, really wish that guy, um, well, kid, really, he's only, what, 25? Yeah, he's, he's a baby still, you know? Yeah, so I really wish him uh, just all the best. All the best, uh, amazing composers. Yeah. Uh, you know, amazing record deals. I wish him to accomplish whatever it is that he wants yeah, to accomplish. Right. Yeah. Actually, I'm disappointed there was no Armenians. I, I need to have a little Armenia. word with Armenia because I didn't see any talent from Armenia. Oh, we do have Cher. We have, I mean, we had Charles Davour. You oh, know, come on, there's living. no shortage of talented people. No, there is not. Yeah. But maybe next season, you never know. But no, I'm, I'm so happy we did this show. And this, that's why with our careers, you never know what's next. Mm -hmm. When like from dancing, from acting, from a producer, from a director, you always got so many amazing things coming to your way. One day you will have the biggest call 
to change your life or you will have two weeks doing nothing. Mm -hmm. It's true, right? Yeah, Even absolutely. you as a director or producer, you always re searching for your next project. So, well, it's, it's, not, you know what it is, a, it, you don't just search for a new project. Actually, you always have several of them cooking. Got it. Okay. This and you never know which one is going to go first. You know what I mean? Like, but you always ready to jump on whichever one is taking the momentum. Got it. Okay. So you always actually put your fingers, like they say, in every single pie and then whatever takes off, you will take it. Yeah. Got yeah. it. All right. Yeah, I yeah, see. Yeah. It, Very interesting. It's, it's kind of like that. But uh, let's talk about, I don't know, you've worked with so many celebrities. I work, I work with pretty good celebrities. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I used to dance like, um, I'm not sure how many people know, but in Europe, I mean, I've worked in America a lot too, but in Europe, I work with one of the biggest girl band girls allowed. And actually funny enough, Spice Girls coming back and I work with every Spice Girl individually, wow. but I never work with Spice Girls <laughs> together. That's, so this is good. funny. Are and you going to do that? I'm not going to do that. No, I think uh, they, already, they already got choreographer. They already got creative director. They actually auditioning soon for the tour for the stadium tours, which is amazing. But I remember the, the one who I actually toured a lot, it was Emma Bonta and me and Emma, I worked with her for two years nonstop. We were touring all of the uh, Europe and uh, performing with her. So it's funny, like, even though you were a dancer, you finished, they're still going. They're still, it's amazing. But mm -hmm. I never done Spice Girls together. I've mm -hmm. done individuals, but not together. So I work with Kylie Minogue. I work with a Pixie Lot and um, I mean, from Russia, I work with also like a big people, people might know Dima Bilan. I remember launched his first album, uh, Filip Kevkorov. Well, and those are two big names in Russia. They, they, sure. they, and, yeah. and they're absolutely amazing. They're so talented. And, and when I did Eurovision, I, I, I worked on Eurovision in 2006. I was dancing for Turkey. Mm -hmm. So we're putting the whole show together. So my career has been absolutely amazing. For 10 years, I never stopped. And I'm so blessed for that, mm -hmm. like, especially for someone who never been trained. So that's why I want to put it out there that don't put yourself down. If you, you know, you don't have money to do classes or things to train yourself, especially these days you have, you know, YouTube, you have podcasts, listen to people, how they've done it and just get everything in mm -hmm. and then try to train yourself. You don't have to go to classes to do, you know, like to pay money and, and to train, you can train yourself. I self train myself. Self You're training self -train. me. Oh my I'm goodness. Trying. We still have to like talk about <laughs> social media. This is crazy, crazy. Like, guys, he's the best at social media. I'm, oh my God. And an amazing teacher. I'm Seriously. obsessed with social media. Yeah. That's yeah I don't know how you do it. You know what? Every time I wake up, I look at my phone and now where's my Arthur? <laughs> <laughs> because there's always all these updates and I'm like, and yours are legitimately interesting. It's never boring, and I'm always laughing, and I'm like you and your husband's dynamics. Oh, it make me it's, blush now. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's so it's so fun. Do you know what the I thing? I don't know is, how you do it though. I I love the thing is like you know people saying I actually funny enough coming here to do the podcast. I was watching this video that somebody said some people are scared to post pictures or some people are scared to post videos because what would other people think? My thoughts are, dude, I'm not gonna say anything, but like why why are you shy to put things like who cares what people are gonna say i'm just putting whatever i want to put apart naked pictures i don't do that but that's not me but i put every no naked pictures no na naked pictures <laughs> but i do i do love social media and also we have to remember we are we are in an era where social media brings our jobs brings us especially in our business like connections, connections is so it's a, true it's huge in networking so, social media yeah. is the biggest networking it's a free pr it's so true and that's why i love editing and it's so funny if i don't do anything i feel like i missed out on something mm -hmm. and it's not necessarily i'm going to be spending lots of time on social media i have my videos my pictures what i want to post what i want to do but i don't waste too much time on social media if I don't know. Sense. It's like you, you have so many updates a day. It's, it's they, crazy. All you these have stories. to organize yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah you? seriously. You do. You do. You do. Oh, and you make me blush. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I feel like for the girls, it's like always like, oh my God, uh, I have to have my makeup. I have to have my so hair. True. It's it's girls. You are actually hard. That's, it, you absolutely. For a boy, it's easier. 
put your jumper on, put your trainers on, put your rings on, and it'd be fabulous. But girls, I feel like there's another standard. You're absolutely right. You've got extra thing to do we that have body. to do some extra work to do the same thing yes, no, you are zero. <laughs> but I, what i love about because i love music and i love vision and because that's coming from a creative direction mm -hmm. so i just when i see an image or i see something on the street i film and i will have that video maybe for two weeks in my phone and then i'm seeing this video i'm like oh my god i forgot about this video why don't i add a music to it and i just post for the beauty thing and that's why I do sometimes. You know what I love? I love those videos uh, that you shoot of yourself dancing. Oh, dancing ones, yeah. Yeah. They actually, do you know what? They're not edited. They're not edited. They're yeah. one take. And it's so funny you say that because I was one of those people. Oh my God, I, I'm a dancer, but I don't want to put what if people criticize. You're a shit choreographer. You can't do it. But then one day I was like, you know what? What have I got to lose? You know, I'm just going to free stuff from the camera. Since I've done that, so many people are messaging because I just freestyle. I just put the music. I just dance. I love dancing. So why not? Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. no matter what we do in life, there's always going to be someone who's going to criticize us. Of course, Am I right yeah. or wrong? Yeah. That's, we can't please any, everybody. Uh, you, no, no, we can't. So that's why I don't want people to think, oh my God, I have to please. Them. No, I, that's why I realized, you know what? I'm going to do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. That's why I start doing it. Yeah. I love the dynamics between you and uh, Brian. Oh, I yeah, love you guys tease each Brian. other. But is it like you guys are like that in real life too? We are even crazy in real life oh, because really? if if you it, there's no enough. I mean, you will be bored if every time I have to film everything with you. With Brian, there's no a dull moment. Like we wake up in the morning till the evening. We laugh, we laugh, we laugh. Like it's it's the best relationship. Like, and that's why I love him to be, that's why I married the man. Because the thing is for me, I want to spend the rest of my life with him because I never would get bored with him. And he's it, funny so naturally. He's like scripted. It's like somebody's up there writing what he's going to do next. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Yeah. He is, he is, and he's so very, he's so quick. He's very witty. He's very quick and he knows what to do. And I guess that's why and he's good. He's very at easy on the eye. Oh, thank you so much. You know. <laughs> Don't tell him that. He's going to get big heads. <laughs> He's already out of it. He already out of it. No, so I, I, like, I, like, I like, we have the dynamic, which is actually working very good. The thing is, like, I, even my friends, all of them, they're fun. They're cool. They're like, I don't think I have a boring friend. I mean, you're not boring. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> no, but it's true. Yeah. You, I just surround myself. I, I'm always positive. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can't. I ca I don't do negativity. So that's why I think that's why it comes. I was gonna I was gonna talk about this because a lot of the times, I mean, you and I come from literally the other part of the world, like the other side of the earth, right? I come from Kazakhstan. You come from Armenia. We look good. We laugh. We 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 we're happy, but the kind of challenges that we've constantly been going through this kind of stuff that we had to jump over and you know the the struggles and um nobody talks about it but the reason why we were able to get through that is because we were positive it's i think it's so important you you actually nailed it because you're absolutely right i think the the human i am right now is because what i've been through and what i, I come from and you know i i don't really talk about my life before before i was a dancer i never talk what happened what's going on because i never wanted people to feel sorry for me because you know sometimes it's hard also but also i don't want to be like oh you try to get the sympathy vote but i never wanted so everything i've done until now i've done on my own i never begged anybody i never you know, uh, I don't know if I can say lick ass or it just like to make sure, oh, baby, I will, I will never do that. I always worked so hard to achieve what I do. Then when people find out where I come from, they're like, this is incredible. I even had one of my friends who is a writer. He's like, I'm going to write a movie about your life one day because what you achieve, what you've done, it's incredible. But then in the same time, I said, but yeah, but I'm not the only one. There's so many other people also do so many things and achieving big goals isn't that like incredible when you hear people's stories that that's why it's it's 
that's why not many people because it's not that like I'm proud what I've done. No, I am proud, but I don't necessarily want to say where I'm coming from and then you'd be like, yeah, you did this because people feel sorry for you. I don't want that. But then when you know my story, you're like, oh, wow. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And same with we you. We can't talk about your story, or can we? Uh, we? It's whatever you're comfortable with. No, we can't. I mean, it's not the big no, story. No, no, it's no. It's seriously. Like, it's completely up to you because this is going to be a public thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, No, I mean, I can... I, I can I, you know what? I, I mean, I was a refugee. Mm. I was a refugee who escaped Armenia. It's mm. like... I was 12 years old when Armenia was in pieces. We just took our bags and left. But I'm a child. I don't know what's going on. So I just followed my family. Um, it took us three weeks to end up in... Uh, in uh, I, remember, I remember we were meant to be going to Denmark, but we ended up in Cologne for some reason. I don't know how for three, three weeks, but between those three weeks, there were so many things happening. I won't get into any de details because... It is hard and and I remember we end up in Cologne and I remember my sister was standing in a near a, the train ticket place and somebody gave her money to her because she thought he, they were thought she was homeless and it was like a miracle thing happening we needed that extra money to go where we have to go if not we were stuck in Cologne and then in the end we end up in Belgium because my dad's brother was in Belgium so he said why don't we go to Belgium these only things we can afford. And I remember we had two suitcases each, my mom, my sister, my aunt, her daughter, and my dad. So so that's just like a little story, but... No, it's hard. And then and we... And thank God for the family, right? Oh, thank God for... Because, you know, when you're a kid, you don't pay attention to what's happening mm -hmm. because your mom and dad will do everything for you. But there's a place called Le Petit Chateau in Belgium. This is where we end up. I mean, it's very bad, but it's where the, all the refugee goes, mm -hmm. go. And, and that's how I really grow up. So I had mm -hmm. to build, and then we end up in a little village in Belgium, which is called Malmedy, and we were the first ever Armenian people there. Mm -hmm. So there's loads to it, but it's just, that's why there's so much, so much. It's, I feel like there's another podcast for you because it's like, it, yeah, there's, it's so much happened to me, uh, but in the same time, I don't feel sorry. I don't like, oh my God, but I'm coming from never. That's why I never want to talk about it, mm -hmm. because that's why I never went into the details. You know, um, I have come so far in my life also, and I have, you know, been challenged. <laughs> I <can> imagine. <laughs> yes. Um, and now today sitting here on this couch talking to each other you know having accomplished amazing things i still feel every time like i'm on the first step on the first oh step. my god you nailed it so, right you have that like a it's like you always have to prove yourself because you're scared to go back maybe i don't know i don't even know it's like it's always the first step whether it's like the the new movie project and it's always like the 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 new how to do it Sure, you know, it's so always the first step, no matter what. I think it's important in particularly in creative um, profession, kind of get used to the idea of perpetual first step. So true. Right? So true. So true. You're, yeah. Because if you're not happy with that, you're never going to be happy. No, so true. So yeah, uh, yeah, I'm actually special. You're absolutely right. Absolutely right. That's why I think that's why we are who we are because we have to push Const ourselves constantly that on the prove first ourselves step and again exactly again exactly. and again exactly and never stop oh my goodness why would we <laughs> no, exactly why would we exactly yeah. but i think that's why we we keep positive because what we have before we have to go through it so we have to stay positive oh yeah and that's course, why yeah. that's why if something didn't happen for me it's okay i had worse mm -hmm. Same for you. I'm sure if something had happened, you had worse. You already made it. So that's how I think. Mm -hmm. For us to do this TV show, we didn't even expect it to do it. Now, it was absolutely, think, absolutely a phone call from nowhere. For me. You see, it, 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 it's just a miracle. It's meant to be. Mm -hmm. It's meant to be. I believe that. And for us to sit there and do from the experience we had to judge amazing people, I'm just so grateful. I'm like pinching myself still mm -hmm. until the until it airs, I'll be like, oh my God, I'm there. It's real. 
Yeah. Yeah, until I see it, it you know, you have to see it to believe it until yeah. we see that. Yeah. I mean, seeing the commercials, it's already unreal. Yeah, and the, the talents that we got to see, oh my God, some of their stories are incredible. Oh, incredible. And that's why it's very hard and emotional for us to see it because for people who've never been through like we've been, mm -hmm. it's totally different. Yeah, Absolutely. and you kind of fall in love with them. Mm -hmm. And that's the hardest part because we can't talk about no, it. No, no. But when you fall in love with the talent, you become emotionally invested. And which way do you go? Then again, you have to switch the button in your you head. You say judge between the two amazing talents. And yeah. yeah. Oh. But it's going to be fun. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. We'll see what happens. No, I'm, I'm actually very, very excited. It's been it's been a good journey and and like uh, whatever happened after that, I meet you guys. I meet you and this is going to I know it's going to be forever. So I know. And um, that's the best thing. So we have this WhatsApp chat amongst us and we wake up each one of us wake, wakes up every morning to like hundreds of messages 300 400 <laughs> messages yes from all over the world it's incredible it's incredible but the funny thing is because we're all different time zone so one person's waking up messaging one person's going to the bed and i mean it's it's yes incredible. it's it's very touching it's so sweet it's mm -hmm. bittersweet actually i think that's the biggest show ever been made with so many judges yeah, uh, international. International, yeah. It is international. So that's, that's crazy from all over the world. So it's very interesting. How, how did they find you? They find me. Um, somebody knew me through Instagram, and one of the producers knew what I do, Crazy Direction, and the messages. And then I just sent straight to the my agent. I was like, Oh my God, there's a TV show. They find me. It's social media, and then I was like. Oh my God, what's happening? I just moved to America. This is amazing. And then, and then my agent dealt with it. So that's how they find me. Yeah. Amazing. They it's found just... me through the honorary council. Oh my God. I love it. Yeah. I the, love the, it. The, Cause I'm the head of an honorary consulate here yeah. in Los Angeles for Kazakhstan. Oh and my God. That's yeah, so amazing. So they called me up and they were asking, um, if I can help them find a translator and I'm mm. like translator. And they explained what, what, what this show is all about. And I'm like, is there a talent from Kazakhstan? And they're like, yeah, there's talent. And they were being secretive. Obviously, they would. Of course, yeah. like they can't reveal. And then, um, and then they said, well, well, we need an expert because they thought they're speaking to a diplomat, and I'm not. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then so I'm like, well, who are you looking for? And they described me. Well, who are you looking for me? Oh my god, <laughs> I love it. I love it. See, every time for a reason, I believe that they were meant to be calling you yes i love the fact they told you were a diplomat i love it <laughs> i was like yes thank you <laughs> well i'm a cultural yeah. diplomat, you know you like Absolutely. yeah and that's what i love about being in creative arts because there's no borders there's no, no so change like there's no difference we don't we don't differentiate ourselves by i don't know uh, nationality race no. gender so whatever like we're all people and we all love each other and that's, so that's all that matters so true so true yeah and they're all talented people coming in one thing in one place together helping each other there was what i liked about it, there was no egos all zero. of us zero because when we met we didn't know who is who but there was no egos everybody was so humble so amazing so charming so it was the best thing i think they should film us backstage what's happening that's the best show that that's was gonna, that would have been that's amazing. gonna be yeah. ima imagine if we had cameras there i think we number one <laughs> <laughs> backstage yeah the second show <laughs> yeah well hmm you never know maybe next with time. all the videos maybe could next you imagine time. if that came out <laughs> oh my god <laughs> surprise it yeah, <laughs> that, would, that would really be like crazy secrets we have the footage guys yeah, yeah 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 no it was amazing so i'm looking forward to it yeah, I think I think the show, the best thing that they did is that they actually are building those cultural bridges. It's true. They they really contributed. They brought the to world this, together. The unity. They did. They did. They did. They did. And then that's that's what that's why I'm, I'm in particular I'm very proud of this yeah. show. And the acts, uh, the acts they casted. I mean, they've spawned. Uh, it's an incredible, incredible talent. Incredible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From every corner of the world. Mm -hmm. That was that was just amazing. And the good thing was, 
because you know there were so many different language barriers even though like you said they called you for a translator people still loved it they were so mesmerized by everything's going on you know like when translator had to translate the humor still translate nicely everybody was having fun which i love it yes Whoa, which we means had a lot of fun we had to dance a lot too. oh my god <laughs> who doesn't like dancing yes. dancing keep you fit i love that yeah yeah no we were uh, but like what i loved about it there was a moment for me when I saw all of us holding the flags. Oh my God, you're reading my mind. That was like, my favorite moment. Oh my God, I literally, like, uh, it was Olympics. It was the Olympics of showbiz. Right. Like, I remember, so true. I remember we, I was, because I was at the top and I can see everything and we're holding the flags and I went, oh my God, this is incredible. That is indescribable feeling. Yeah, it's, I mean, I'm with the, I mean, I've never been to Olympics. But that's how I felt. I felt like I was showbiz Olympics. Yeah, something. All like these it. flags, it's yeah. crazy. I mean, especially being Armenian, like you don't really see Armenian flag everywhere. Do you know what I mean? It. I mean, we're a small country. We're like little well, like this. But to see my flag there, your flag, and I, I had the Irish and Swedish, and then it's it's incredible. A Mongolian and uh, my, like uh, from like. 50 different countries yeah, philippines like we have everywhere yeah yeah it was no incredible. It, it was incredible yeah. well 2019 it's great it's a good start yes i love it, it. Is, i it love is. it actually there's one thing fascinating me because you're from a movie industry right and tell me a little bit like like how the movie in, uh, industry is different to my industry because obviously for me as a creative i'm in the tv I am a video shoot. I am, um, um, what do you call it? Co corporate shows. But when I work with actors, you guys are a completely different zone. What do you mean? I'll tell you what, because you're different. I feel like in a different, when I was a hairdresser, example, I did Marion Cotillard's hair. I don't know if you know Marion Cotillard. Uh, she's a French actress. Of course I know Cotillard. Yeah, Marion Cotillard. It's so funny because actors are, Dancers are crazy. Dancers are like, blah, 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 hey, let's dance, let's have fun. Models are the same. But acting is a different world to me. That's why, go back to our earlier conversation, I never thought to be an actor because I feel like too crazy to settle down and to be in the zone to... to hmm. You're talking about technique. Technique, that's what okay. I'm saying. Okay, so you have to watch my movie. The, the, I, where, where I actually, because I don't, I don't, I'm not in every of my movies. Yeah, but know? that one, you really felt it to do it, yes, right? Yes, yes, because it was for the memory of my cousin. Oh my God, of who course, Who passed away yes. to the cause. She was only 45 years old. She was a beautiful woman, three kids. Yeah, anyway, but uh, do watch the movie. That probably um, oh, would be interesting to, to you. Yeah, yeah. Do you always want to be an actor? You know what? When I was 14 years old and I was forced to, well, not forced. My parents were amazing, right? <laughs> but they really insisted that I study music. So I was playing violin and the piano. That's interesting. It's so weird because normally the parents, they don't want you to do that. Especially in, a, in well, our Eastern country, they want you to be a lawyer, doctor, or that's mm -hmm. really amazing for your parents to push you to do music. Yeah, well, my, I don't know, it's just my father like used to sing a lot and so did my mom, but they, they were from completely different professions. So it kind of, and my oldest brother is a composer, very talented composer. So he kind of detected and I was like this little because I'm a lot younger than my brothers. So he's like, oh yeah, she's got like a, you know, the ear. absolute ear, you, you have to. So here I am, I... 14 years old, playing violin, hating it. So oh my I, God, me too. I done that. High five. I <laughs> the story after. Yeah. So I went uh, to my dad and I said, "Listen, Pop, if you don't let me switch this to something, I will just break this violin." And he asked me. He said, "What would you like to do?" I said, two things. Either I want to be oil and gas engineer, or I want to be an actress." <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be different. <laughs> I can't, I'm actually sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no worries, right? <laughs> like, oh my God, I died two different.
for an extreme. <laughs> yes. Oh my God! Not even like a direct and actor, gas engineer. Yeah. Why gas engineer? Well, my father was in the oil and gas industry, and <laughs> like oh. you know, natural resources kind of interested me. Oh, so you, oh, so you, that's why. Oh, yeah, God. that's why. But like acting was interesting then. And then um, basically he talked me out of it. <laughs> but I cut it uh, like. In your mind, it's like, oh, I might do mind, one day. Yeah, at some, I'm like, okay, when I achieve my complete freedom, <laughs> I am going to pursue that, <gasps> which is what I did. So. Oh my God. But back to your question about the technique. <laughs> you know, um, like you have like. Explain to us, like, you know, when people are listening now, you have the, what's the, the technique called when you have, you, you, you stay in the character when you leave. Method it. acting. Yeah. So tell me about the method acting. That's actually deep, right? Like, it's like, because it's, I've never done it. Have you ever done it? Yes. Have you been in a method acting when you're actually in the character from A to Z? Yes. Wow. And the scary part? the part of what I was playing kind of like all of a sudden materialized in my life. Oh my God. You know, quantum physics all the way. But anyway, so, um, yeah. Um, so you basically become that character. God. Okay. So then you'll actually stay in the zone until literally it's cut and then you don't have to be in that character anymore. Well, it wasn't it, like, okay, so it wasn't necessarily because I was uh, also producing and directing. Correct. Co also, you have to yeah. co direct. So I had to switch back and forth, but some of the scenes that were difficult, meaning emotionally, they would stay with me for days and they would like not, you know, leave me. That, that, was, that was hard. Oh my God. To me, it's fascinating. Mm hmm. To me because i never done acting classes i don't know I how it is oh my god I'm, I, 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 i'm taking the offer guys you heard it here first <laughs> I think. no because i would love it's, it's always fascinating me how you guys working because when you, i do castings when i have like a, a actor or the, you know actors coming to do casting for dancing commercials mm -hmm. it's so funny you can ask them to play anything they're getting into the zone but as a dancer we always thinking i have to look pretty i can't laugh as a mo do you know what I mean? It's two different things for us. Yeah. That's why people don't understand. They think, oh, when you're dancing, you're an actor and everything. Kind of, but we still with the pretty ones. We just want to. Well, you talk with your body as opposed exactly. to. Exactly. Yeah. And you always try to be looking amazing. Like, it's so funny when you do like commercials and you have the dancers, we have to change them to 1920s or change something. And you will have the dancer be like, yeah, but I don't like the hair. But then you will say, sweetheart, it's not about you. It's about the character. Mm -hmm. But as an actor, you like a canvas. Actually, you sit in the chair, right? Actually, as an actor, the last thing that you should think about is how you look. Thank you. That's why I was you trying to get. You do not think about it. You don't know. What, uh, the, 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 everyone around you, like the makeup artist, the they, wardrobe, the, you know, the camera. That's why the, I want the, to get the DPs uh, the, with the lighting and the, the director. They should. You're a white canvas that you are there, they make you what you want to be, right. what so they want you to be. But you have to become the character if you if that's your what, what you're doing. Uh, but you should not... Think of, oh, I don't like the, oh, what this, I'm wearing. Oh, this angle, this camera, yeah. like this angle is better for me, all oh, this angle is better for me. Because that's you nothing can't, good you, to do. It, it's, it, then you, you can't feel the lines. You can't like that. deliver them, you mm -hmm. know? the way that the character would deliver them. Your job is just act. Yes. Let the people to worry about it. Actually, it's not even act. You become that. Because you if you act, then it's it's false. It's Yeah. You know, you and the camera will catch it. You live the character. Mm -hmm. See, there's so many things, like even me, I'm mesmerized. I, do you know what? You're going to laugh. I prefer more movies than music. I love music, don't get me wrong. But I'm always being fascinated by music. Like Brian and I, we religiously... Every Sunday, if we have time, we go to cinema. It's like, it's like, it's part of me. I love, when I go to cinema, I'm in a, my bubble. For that two hour, those two hours, I'm like in the zone. Mm -hmm. There's nothing exists in my life. I just love movies. Yeah. It does take you literally to a different world, It's right? true. Yeah. It's your movies and it's just like so amazing. It's, and it's a dream. About, it's a dream. Yeah, and think about the amount of work of so many professionals to make that movie happen. Oh my God. 
know. you know sometimes for one project takes years to materialize i have actually a question which involves three things producing directing or acting what's your the biggest passion right now i know you act i know you directed i know you produce but what's the most like oh it's taking you like um probably the newly found passion for directing okay because i only did it once so far and i really and i really actually enjoyed it and i i was surprised that i did i love that you so know? it's because you feel like you're bringing the best out of the actors yes the, so you feel the result it's like me when i see my choreography or my creativity is like come to life and then you have thirty thousand people screaming for it for you to see the actor have that tear going down there Face. is that is that yeah that give work you... with actors is the most important to me I love that. you know what okay, i mean that yeah. that's the most interesting and uh satisfying feeling mm -hmm. to me i don't have to be on screen i mean surely i can act but like yeah. i don't have to see my own face on screen no of course but like yeah. that directing yeah. is give you like that oomph like je ne sais quoi the same right, right so when you were judging people on the world's best what were you looking for because oh, so what was yeah what was the think because for me it was more the creativity more like what they've done choreography wise you know but why as a, as a, as a you know director as a producer what professionalism was okay and we can't uh, disclose names but no. um i know that i was bitching about some people <laughs> seriously because i was questioning the professionalism there's there's a lot of talent no doubt of course but professionalism is something else it's the um training 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 and training depending on what the uh, acts are right? acts are, yeah yeah so it's uh, it's a lot of training or whatever the educational background for musicians i feel mm -hmm. like it's very important the educational of course, background of right? course and so and the problem is i'm no longer a musician of course because i switched professions a long time ago but um you, you cannot switch switch off your yeah you can't buy that professional you know, no, but like you can't, I can't switch off my, my, ear. my ear. Your ear still and there. The knowledge yeah. is there. And so I'm like listening to that and I'm judging and I'm like, oh my God, what's happening you know, like this, what's happening? I, I feel there's tons of talent, but there's just. You must be like me. Like you can teach someone to technique, things like that, but talent you can't, right? Of I course, agree with it's me. either there It's like not. a dancer. You can teach someone to have the split on the legs to their head, but the emotion of dancing or performing is not there mm -hmm. so that's why okay got it so i guess that was my that's last, why that, you were, that okay. was my number one thing because no doubt everyone on that show was incredibly talented. oh my god that yeah. uh, they're all crazy talented yes. it's to, to even get to that show you have to have yeah talent but that's why i like also from the judges also we had so many different like uh, uh talent like uh, crazy director choreographers producer directors vocal coaches actors so everybody have something to say which was mm -hmm. amazing mm -hmm. no i like this mm -hmm. i feel really like that what yours was uh... for me it was actually more the beauty more the professionalism like you said too the cleanliness uh -huh. as a choreographer or creative you want everything to be polished clean so every line have to be sickly amazing mm -hmm. do you know what i mean or like i mean i'm not a vocal coach so for me if somebody sings great i'll be like yeah great but then you will have zoe who is from uk yes. who is a vocal coach she's incredible she'll be like yeah but the pitch wasn't there exactly for me who am i to say that but for me it was more about the professionalism and the talent like you were saying the craziness that we're doing yeah well so, this is why there's 50 of us exactly like exactly. the super accomplished people from all kinds of exactly. countries it's crazy the amount of knowledge amongst yeah. those judges oh it's, it's 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 incredible show i can't wait for everybody to see why yes. am i looking at the mic you're here <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what was gonna i don't know what's going on <laughs> yeah no i'm looking forward to yeah, it actually yeah 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 no, so I, I don't know um, it's an amazing journey of course with the with the show wonder what happens you never know yeah. like i say we're only in the new year now so we don't know what could happen yeah like definitely. anything can happen for all for 50 of us anything can change Mm -hmm. maybe i'll have my own big show tomorrow presenting with you never know you then again that'll be a dream don't you think 
You will be my guest, I promise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I be a judge? <laughs> no, anything. Maybe you can be a co-host. Why not? <laughs> yes. No, it's true. You never know what could happen. Yeah. You know. uh, listen, we're all done this. We're very privileged because imagine how many talented people they could have had. So many people around the world. We were blessed and so lucky to be on the show. So let's see what will happen. Yeah. I'm just going with the flow. I'm so like I'm so grateful because I'm working with Natalie. Natalie who got Le Petit Cirque. They're doing so so well and we get on so well and now became our creative director, choreographer. You see you having momentum with people and you connect new networking. And and I just love working with Natalie, so hopefully we're building something big together. I have an idea for a show, but we'll talk about it once we're off. We'll talk about it once off. Speaking of which, I think the time is up. Oh, but man. I love talking to you, and me we're gonna too. continue talking. And uh, my Thanks God, watch me. out for the show. It's gonna be amazing, really. The world's best, don't forget. The world's best. <laughs>